Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today's kind of an informal video. What I'm gonna be showing you guys is how downhill assist, downhill ascent control, sorry, affects the speed at which you go down a hill. So I'm currently at the top of a parkade, where, and this camera isn't doing it justice. It's definitely steeper than this looks. So I figured the best way to do this is I am in normal mode. I'm in a wilderness outback right now, but it should operate the same. I'm only gonna use snow and dirt mode, which is the basic X mode. But right now I've got it in drive and we're just gonna see how fast we go down this hill, this incline. So, I mean, not that 10, 11 kilometers an hour is particularly fast, but that might be faster than someone wants off road. I'm gonna go in reverse and we're gonna back up. And I've actually been wanting to make a video showing, showcasing, and sorry about the glare. Can't do anything about the sun. Let's turn it on snow dirt, put it in drive. X mode's up. And I've taken my foot off the brake. And to be clear, I was not touching the accelerator on the other one. Right now we're going five kilometers an hour. It's holding us back actually quite well. Actually very impressed. Didn't have the chance to Oh, even slower, down to three, four. Got a corner coming up. Yeah, this is the parkade where I park. I don't normally park up top. Normally this section's actually blocked off. But yeah, we would have been ripping through here at just about triple the speed right now. So not a lot of margin for error in here. Pretty tight. And we kind of leveled out there and now we're gonna head down a little bit more of an, a decline. But yeah, the Outback is holding us back very, very well. And I understand that this isn't the steepest area that you'll ever be in or take the wilderness off-road to, but it gives you an idea of what it does. Here we go, it's holding us back to four. Again, I'd probably be ripping 10, 12, maybe even 15 kilometers an hour here. And the sign does say eight, so. I mean, if you wanted to drive through here and not worry about touching the brake, you could just use X mode when you're leaving the parkade. Make sure I don't hit the wall. So that's in snow and dirt mode. Let's see if it makes a difference in deep snow and mud. Because what that does also turns off traction control. So again, my foot's off the brake. Nope, it's applying the brake. It's slowing us down keeping us at five kilometers an hour, four kilometers an hour. I'm not sure what the conversion in miles an hour is. I think it might be three point something from the people down south watching this. But yeah, it's actually doing a really good job of keeping me planted. So I imagine the rest of the way is gonna be like that. I'll put it in the description if it's any different than what we've already experienced. But thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about how downhill ascent control works or X mode in general, please put them in the comments below. I'm always looking to answer questions for you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.